S9 upgrade to S30 Ultra kit. Please open the subtitles to view the annotations and instructions. The package only includes one model you purchased. motor extension cable for machines that have been upgraded with linear guide Retain screws for backup. These seven interfaces, each with a different color and shape, need to be connected with the terminal cable. Only this blue interface is connected with the white one, the others are connected according to the color and shape. Pay attention to adjusting the position of the cables to avoid tangling. Connect the Bluetooth antenna of the motherboard box to the chip. Place the cables inside the motherboard box. Do not tighten the screws first. Tighten all screws after placing them into the holes to avoid deviation. For users who have upgraded the machines with linear guide, please skip to 10 minutes and 2 seconds to view the subsequent tutorials. Back to tutorial. The terminal cable needs to pass through here. We need to dismantle the gantry to complete this step. Reassemble the gantry back.
The screw is installed below the limit switch. Tighten the screws after tightening the belt. You can use a wrench to reinforce these screws. Align the tail at a position of 16 mm. Use the old power cable. You can use USB data cable to connect, or use Bluetooth wireless to connect for longer transmission distances. Start the engraving machine. Search for Bluetooth. Turn on Bluetooth and add a device. Find Sculptfun S30 Ultra. Control laser movement, check whether the Bluetooth is available. Replace input port. After the port is ready, try it again, now Bluetooth can be used normally. The new laser and limit switch will reduce the working area of the laser engraving machine. We need to reset the work area. We also need to set the function of the limit switch. If you don't want to use the limit switch, you can turn it off here. Now start resetting. Draw a rectangle of the same size as the work area and align it. I almost forgot about this. When you use the limit switch function, you should change the job origin to absolute chords. Preview the working range and check if the laser head will collide with the engraving machine. You can use alcohol to clean the lenses. If the lenses are damaged, you can replace them with spare lenses. Go to our official website and you can purchase more lenses. After long-term use, the air nozzle will be blocked. You can use the airbrush to clean it. Vertical installation of nozzle downward to avoid displacement of ceiling ring. No need to tighten here, just feel the contact with the ceiling ring.
The terminal cable here is not connected to the motherboard and is only for demonstration. After watching, please skip back to 6 minutes and 66 seconds to watch the subsequent tutorials.